Hi, I'm Kate. And I'm Phil. And today we're finishing out our Rocky series and I'm watching Rocky Balboa for the first time Rocky ever. Yeah, like Alright, so today we're finishing out our Rocky series with Rocky Balboa. It came out in 2006, 16 years after the last one. Wow. Now we're in a world that you know. It's not the 80s, it's not the yeah. 70s. It's pretty modern. Rocky better not be boxing. <laughs> oh my goodness. I'm really excited about this one. You guys were super adamant, but you guys let us know like that this one, it really is it, the, the, the end of the story. Uh, I even saw one comment that said that this one kind of made the fifth movie better. Mm. Once, once you watch this one, they said that they came to respect the fifth movie more. I didn't dislike the fifth movie, mm -hmm. but you know, there's plenty of people have their opinions on the fifth movie and so i'm excited to see this one and see um the true close to the story yep and as you can see we've got the green behind us we've got the philadelphia eagles green just thought that'll spice it up for rocky you yeah. know and close out our rocky series I'm a, I'm a little nostalgic about this time already yeah it's been a it's been a long road ride whatever a long, which one a long road a, a long road and <laughs> And here we are now, so. Rocky Balboa, let's do it. <laughs> Updated, not yeah. full screen this time. Definitely in the age of digital now. Who are these guys? I don't know. I love that, the, yeah, that big flash over there. Yeah. This crowd does nothing to hide its anger. So the fans don't like this guy? Looks like it. Healthy. I like the uh, the live feel with shooting it in 60 frames per second. I found myself questioning if it was real footage for a second. Do, 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 do. Go. Gotta start with this. Oh, same. This would be cool to see these same locations if they do the same locations, but like with so many years put in yeah. between it. Yeah. Like it's just the, those are the same. That's the same stretch. From, it is. You look at the cars. Wow. Suddenly the cars got so much uglier. You see the picture of Adrian? The turtles. They're still kicking, literally. Immediately hit you with the with the with the nostalgia and the emotion. I like the backyard gym. Simple. Definitely looking older, but Bill Conti music, cool. Who died? I'm sure it's just Mickey or Paolo. What? What? Okay, true Rocky fashion throwing me for a loop. That's so sad. Not Adrian. He needs his Adrian. What do you mean? Oh. I love that. That is such a beautiful touch. I touch. love that. You're coming tonight, right? I'm working. I know, but it's the anniversary. Fine. You got my word. Probably doesn't change. It's the same guy we met in the beginning. Maybe a little nicer. Maybe. I mean, they really hit you with the emotion right in the beginning. Yeah. Adrian's this dead? This one's really already hit some good marks. Yeah. That's really sad about Adrian. But somehow they made it less sad. Like she's been dead for a while. Mm hmm Oh. Sure looks like him. That guy's in Heroes. Remember him? Yeah. You wanna go out and get some coffee? You kinda know? behind. Maybe later? You know, you ought to come by the restaurant tonight. But I can't. Rocky owns a restaurant, of course he does. Did I do something wrong? You throw a big shadow. Why is he so yeah. embarrassed of his dad? Big shadow. I mean, he wants to be his own person, you know? I gotta get going. I'll change my plans for tonight. Well, that'd be great. So, it's so sad to see the relationship seems so uncomfortable, which we just we just watched a movie about them trying to get closer, so it happened. It's he's living under his shadow. I mean, I mean, you grow up with this famous dad, and it's a much different generation. All right, take it out of that. I like that he got into something else in his older age. He would totally have a restaurant. Are you kidding me? Yeah. Very on on brand for Rocky. Adrian's. I love that sign. I wonder what happened to Adrian. What are you doing, Isabel? Okay, oh. except for the freebie reading the Bible over there. There's just photos of her everywhere. Spider Rico kid. Hit. Spider Rico. That's amazing. God bless you, Rocky. <laughs> Can you make something special for my kid? I appreciate it. It's like a nice little red coat. Looks that was good. a nice jacket. I love that, that that art piece is from, you remember that oh, piece? Oh yeah. That was from Rocky Three, right? Yeah. Fight this guy hard, you bum. You gotta be first. He sang it in a way that he's told their stories yeah, a thousand times. This is that, this is that champion, right? That no one liked? I think so. That's cool. Little TV in the car. Hello, Adrian. Is this kid calling? Tell him you can't make it. Of course. Well, you know, it's just toe like to toe. He seems so tired telling the story now. Is that the the like the, the, pet, the shop. pet shop? You need somebody to walk you home. I can't imagine losing your Adrian like that. You need a few laughs in our life. What do you think? It seems like he would be really lost without her. Yeah, and then his son doesn't want anything to do with him. It's just him and Polly. Poor company. Faithful poor company though. Mm. 
1813. Remember when she was standing there? Was he pushing the door open, right? You done? Polly, how about her? This, this has got to be probably every day. Polly's probably had enough of it. It's his sister, you know? He's probably feeling it too. How long we staying here? How long? Well, I'm glad they tore this ice rink down. Oh, that was ice rink that they skated at. She was nervous, but I weren't so great on the blades either. Ice is stupid. <laughs> This is peak Polly in this. When she was falling, grabbed her through that coat I could feel. He said the same thing last year. Rock, let's go. Oh, so this is, okay. He's just circling on it. Change the channel from yesterday. Yesterday wasn't so great. It was to me. Not to me. I treated her bad. I don't have to think about this. Hmm. I can't do this no more. Why is it a hard life? Yeah. Mistake after mistake. You can't have someone dragging you down if you're trying to move on. Jeez, yeah. that was really hard to watch with Polly just leaving like that. And now Rocky's really alone. You know, I'd be okay if there's no boxing in this movie. Yeah, I would too. But I mean, there's, there's gonna be boxing. There's gonna be boxing. There's gonna be boxing. Oh, this is that old bar he used to go where he came in to fight. Yeah, I think so. Can I get you a drink? I thought that was Pam for a second from the <laughs> office. I read about your wife's passing. Yeah, it was a uh, woman cancer. Mm. What kind of cancer? He said woman cancer. Mm. Do I know you? When I was a kid, you walked me home. Oh my goodness. Told me to stop smoking and things. That's her, that's the same actor. Yeah, it looks like her. Are you little Marie that used to hang out at that atomic Logie shop? Oh, that's gotta be the same actor. Yeah, that's right. That's gotta be the same actor. Idiot! You turned around and said, who you, creepo? I didn't say that. <laughs> <laughs> Is that really you? I think he wants to drink alone. No, I don't think so. All right, you want some money? <laughs> What are you doing pushing my hand away like that? Okay, lady. You ain't no better than me. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> Would you need a lift? You ever get married? You need a lift and then they walk. Are oh, you sort of have any kids? No. Oh, they walk yeah, into his car. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, one kid. Yeah, me too. Wonderful boy. Oh, boy. That was being nice to you, dumbass. Don't listen to him. You ain't no better than me. Oh. Than me. We're a nice group of people. It's all right. It ain't all right. Oh, boy. Oh, no. How old does he think he yeah. is? What, hey. what do you say? Oh, I'm sorry. Good job. Good job. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Rocky used to handle people for the mafia. I think he's <laughs> can handle some drunk bum. Not to mention he was a championship boxer either. I mean, <laughs> there's yeah, also, that might help. There's also that. It's only temporary. Yeah, I can see that. Well, this place used to be pretty nice. Down the street, there, they used to call that place like the bucket of blood. That's his description of what was pretty nice. Is that your kid? Yeah. They sort of yeah, it's the other one. <laughs> Father was from Jamaica. Okay. European. European. <laughs> is he looking like he's mad at me? Is it maybe the angle I'm standing at? <laughs> <laughs> the angle, yeah. 45, he's pissed, but. Uh... <laughs> you want to meet him? You no, know, it's, it's getting kind of late. He's like, yeah, I'm going to get out of here. Thanks again for the ride and everything else. I hope she's not like a romantic interest. I don't think so. That would be an odd choice. Plus, you can't replace Adrian. Go, little Marie. Oh no. Ain't you gonna introduce me to your kid? And I got this uh, place, this restaurant, nice little eatery. Sometimes I feel like a kangaroo all stuck in my pocket. <laughs> you gotta love Rocky. It'd be great. Both of you just come down there and eat and every day. It'd be great, free. It's nice. They're not gonna do romantic interest. That would be so creepy. Yeah, that'd be weird. When that time comes and you find something that they ain't running, that's good. Cause that's baptism under fire. Get through that, you find the only kind of respect that matters, self-respect. Mm. So I wonder what this whole story is. Is yeah. Rock gonna be his manager now? I'm trying to put it him? together, but... Yo, Spider, let me do some dishes. Come on, you're my guest. He just wants me to work. You got guests. Don't get too wet, okay? Just let him do the dishes. <laughs> I love this. You kept the card. Yeah, I kept the card. Yeah, why don't you sit down? It's probably just nice for him to see someone from his past. Yeah. That remembers him and like appreciates. Contrasting styles in almost every way. Who was the best of all time? Oh, this is funny. We feed our facts into the computer. They will weigh in on who they think will reign supreme. This can only end poorly. Man, come check out this trash. They talking about you, man. So basically they're going to say that Rocky would beat him or something. That's the same thing from, was it Rocky? Five, right? You're not the true champ unless you beat Rocky. But this time it's just a computer. Not only does Rocky win, he wins knockout. Ha <laughs> 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 ha, yeah. If he tries to dig down against Balboa, he's gonna find that he doesn't have a big enough shovel. Is he gonna do one more fight? 16 years ago, it was like, don't even like get in a car because it's so dangerous, <laughs> you know what I mean? He cannot fight now. Well, Adrian's not there to tell him to care for himself. See what the computer has to say. Here we go. Yeah, okay, punch, punch. Head hit. <laughs> Boom, yeah. This poor kid, too. He doesn't seem even remotely interested in any of this. Oh, 
He also probably knows what this is gonna lead to. Baby Rocky. Baby Rocky. And the, I mean, the kid was literally beat up as a kid for just being his son. You think Steps wants a job? Why are you being so nice? That's a good question. Let's get into it. My wife, she's gone. I thought you don't owe us nothing. I don't owe you nothing, but why you gotta owe something? Sweet guy. <laughs> to get, yo, yikes. <laughs> I think hanging out with your kid would be nice. What do you think? I think that'd be nice. Nice watching you eat. <laughs> <laughs> nice watching you eat. Did he explain why he was doing this? No. Yo, little Marie, let there be light. <laughs> he wants someone to care for. And like, his community is gone. You know, you learn a lot talking to dogs. Buckets. Well? Yeah, why not? That is one ugly dog, man. He goes, huh? It's kind of a cute dog. The color kind of looks like old furniture. Oh. <laughs> Notice what this animal is doing here. He ain't doing nothing. He ain't wasting no energy. Cause he's dead. He's, he's like, he's not dead. Get the dog, Rocky, if you like him. Every guy should at one time try to name an animal. <laughs> I don't know. Flea bag. You could come up with something better. Punchy. How's that? Punchy. I like it, you know? For real? Yeah, for real. Is he calling him Punchy? Yeah. Punchy, very good. All right, man. Immediately make him feel bad. That's the way to do it. I mean, no, it's a joke on you, right? You're a very funny guy. <laughs> I'm sure he's had plenty of people call him Punchy. At this point, it doesn't hurt. Just don't call him a bum. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. It's like calling Marty McFly chicken. <laughs> what are you doing, Polly? Getting him some alcohol. Helping himself. He doesn't look happy. Hey, they're gonna be talking about that fake Looney Tune fight. Hey, I skipped one first. What an ugly dog. <laughs> well, I so like cute him. Him. Hey, that stuff back there is pretty cool. Thanks, appreciate it. He seems like he's warming up to him. Yeah, a little bit. <laughs> he works there now? <laughs> he's just full time. You knock out that bum once. Hey, I mean, if you wanted a job, yeah. why not? Last week, Rocky Balboa won See? That's the cartoon fight I'm telling you about. Looks like the UFC graphics haven't gotten much better than that either. <laughs> I think Balboa was completely overrated. You know, he owns a little restaurant in South Philly. What's the specialty? Pounded chicken. What a good Pounded joke. chicken. <laughs> Cheer up. Free advertisement. Free advertisement. I tried calling, but nothing was picking up. I think I wanted to, like, do something. Like what? Fight. Don't you think you're too, you know, old? People are going to think you're going crazy. What's crazy about standing toe-to-toe -to -toe saying, I am? It's just ego talking. Yeah, don't do it. What are you trying to prove? Prove. I stopped thinking the way other people are thinking a long time ago. You know, you got to think like you think. I really don't know what you want from me. Uh. Whatever you're going through, it'll pass. Time is it's going to catch up to all of us. Especially if you're standing still. You know? Hey. Mm. Mm. That's a great line. It is. I'm gonna call you in the morning. Tell me he's not doing this. Nobody's giving you no title shot. Paul, he's painting. He needs that. You're mad because they took down your statue. No. What? You haven't peeked yet? I don't know. There's still some stuff in the basement. What basement? In here. Is it angry? He's in, he's painting Polly right now, so he's willing to talk about it. Are you mad because Adrian left you? She died. Please, it's okay. I just never knew it was supposed to be this hard. I was like, you want to come by and help me train? I got a job here. This is all I got. If everyone's gone, people go back to their patterns. Yeah, he's not going to get approved to fight. You've passed. However, this commission cannot recommend you for a license. Didn't I do what you asked? Yes, you did. So I should get a license, right? We've got to stand by our decision here. Is it just based on his age or what? Yo, don't I got some rights? What rights do you think you're referring to? So don't say something about going after what makes you happy? That's the pursuit of happiness. What's your point? My point is I'm pursuing something and nobody looks too happy about it. <laughs> it's your right to listen to your gut. It ain't nobody's right to say no after you earn the right to be where you want to be and do what you want to do. The only thing I'm asking you guys to leave on the table is what's right. He should have opened with that. Maybe they would have changed Yeah, that would have been a good opening <laughs> statement. That is so right. You heard Rocky Balboa applied for a license and got one, yeah? Forget about it. Oh, hear me out, hear me out. This is a no-lose for everybody. It's all good. Good for who? For you. People don't like you no more. I don't look at me like I'm messing with your legacy. A legacy is what you get instead of getting paid. Hey, man, don't talk to me like I'm stupid, I'm not. Right? I'm not no more. Why isn't he interested in making money? Maybe he feels like it's below him, I guess. And he should. Yeah. Pee, okay. <laughs> Kinda. Gotta pee. Okay. Price. I, I was just driving around the neighborhood. I thought, well. Oh, that's an ugly dog. <laughs> I hope she calls the dog ugly. Or creepo. What do you think about coming over to the restaurant for work? I appreciate what you're doing for my kid, but I can't. It's, 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 a, it's a nice environment. It's very pleasant. Yeah, can we drop it? Oh, well, there she is. There's the creepo version of her. Give it a try, like two weeks. I don't want to try. Yo, who put this stuff in your head? Nobody. Well, it just don't get in there by itself. 
take the help. When was the last time you went dancing? Because you danced around all these problems, you might as well come and dance with me. Crazy. Yeah, a little bit, but when you're talking, it's a little crazy too. Come on, though. be nice. All right, maybe she can get herself a place that isn't half burned down. Then let go. <laughs> <laughs> Practically running away from him. Jeez. Oh, there she is. She was already working there. Deliveries are in the back. I'm not a delivery guy. <laughs> well, do you have a reservation? Do I look like a freaking Indian? <laughs> Paul. <laughs> There's a dated joke there. <laughs> I'm celebrating, Rob. I retired. <laughs> yeah. Poor guy. But when they start giving retiring people meat instead of watches, I got a watch. I got two watches. Paulie's gonna ruin this business. If he made a routine out of it, maybe. <laughs> it takes guts climbing back in that ring. You're gonna do all right, Rock. How do you know that? The stuff in the basement. It's so sad with him like clutching his paintings. Yeah. Some guys over there want to talk to you. Is this the guys? This is Elsie Luco. He's Mason Dixon's manager. Why not try to work something out? I was thinking more small level. We're going to donate a portion of the gate to charity. Well, that's always nice. Oh, yeah. Where is it? Las Vegas. I really got to think about this. You guys can order something. What do you recommend? It's all edible. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, yeah, it's just edible. <laughs> I pushed this crazy idea about fighting. I mean, what's it all about? Ego? You've got this opportunity, so do it. And it doesn't matter how this looks to other people. All that matters is how it looks to you. I, I don't have a problem with him doing it, honestly. It makes sense from a character standpoint. And if this is something that you gotta do, then you do it. Fighters fight. I just keep going back to that. Uh, she says fighters fight. Yeah. I just keep going back to that doctor's appointment from Rocky I don't know how he passed his medical like, test now. Your brain is, you know. Maybe it healed or something. I don't think your brain. I don't, I don't know. think that. I don't know either. Comment down below if his brain healed. <laughs> <laughs> fighters fight, right? Yeah, but it doesn't have to be in the ring, though. This is skill versus will. I mean, Rocky's skill, too. A few great fighters who fought in their 50s, the smart money says you have virtually no chance. This fight will be competitive. Right. <laughs> this looks like a cheap bit of ring theater between a has-been and a man whose own credible legacy and popularity is in doubt. Come on, Rocky needs to get angry here. And you gonna get up here and make a mockery out of me? I mean, I get pissed, this guy get hurt. See you at the fight. He should talk, man. I hate it when he just sits there and lets people oh, talk about it. Oh, he's at the restaurant now. No, I agree, though. Son of the year over here. Glad you come by. Can I talk with you? Oh, he just came angry. So you're going through with this? Yeah, I start training tomorrow. Hey, Ralph, I could make some money on this endorsement. <laughs> Absolutely, do that. <laughs> <laughs> you don't have to do it. I think I do. Living with you, it hasn't been easy. Now, I'm asking you as a favor not to go through with this. Doesn't it bother you that, that people are making you out to be a joke and that I'm going to be included in that? He just cares about other, other people, other people. But he's at that point in his life. Yeah. I mean, it makes sense, but... That's affected him so much. Somewhere along the line, you let people stick a finger in your face and tell you you're no good. Mm. And when things got hard, you started looking for something to blame. Nobody is gonna hit as hard as life. But it ain't about how hard you hit. It's about how hard you can get hit and keep moving forward. How much you can take and keep moving forward. That's how winning is done. Now, if you know what you're worth, now go out and get what you're worth. But you gotta be willing to take the hits and not pointing fingers saying you ain't where you wanna be because of him or her or anybody. Cowards do that and that ain't you. You're better than that. Wow. I love that he just didn't, he didn't take any of what the son was giving him. Mm -mm. And he said, no, you need to figure yourself out. Don't put this on me. Yep. I love that. That was amazing. I'm, in t I'm crying. Yeah. <laughs> uh, our roommate um, has that on a photo. Yeah, that that's the scene from this movie that like. Yeah, that's amazing. Like, every, that, 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 the writing. Yeah, that quote is. Amazing. It's about how hard you can get hit and keep moving forward. How, you know, that's. Yeah. That's something I think you hear people say regularly now like yeah yeah it's so good you get off early from work no I quit mm. so what are you gonna do right now i'd rather be with you it's been a long time since i've seen a fight yeah this has rocky one vibes it does really back to the roots on this one to beat this guy you need speed oh that, that's the that's... you don't have it mm -hmm. i just recognized him what we'll be calling on is good old blunt force trauma let's go every time you hit him with a shot it's got to feel like he tried kissing the express train. This is a real underdog story in a different level. Let's start building some hurting bombs. Legs don't move like they used to. Nah. <laughs> mm. Mm. 
Rocky never used a kettlebell. <laughs> the, the dog's shirt. Oh my god, he looks exhausted. There you go, Polly. <laughs> I was like, Polly's getting a little inspiration here. I've been there. Oh, back to the eggs, huh? At 50, it's gonna hit different. <laughs> yeah, oh yeah. Breaking into the meat locker. Let's go. Be like, uh, Polly broke into the meat locker again. <laughs> Rocky's punching me. Yeah, they have security cameras now, Polly. <laughs> Let's go. Yeah. I'm sad that the, the statue is not there anymore. That's okay. He can just do it. <laughs> I like that version. With the dog. Yeah. That's great. Rocky Balboa. Las Vegas. <laughs> Las Vegas Grand Prix. Thank you very much. I appreciate it, champ. Playing it respectful. I'm interested to see his physique. Nah, I didn't even think about that. I'll do my best to carry you. If you try to press me, I'll get you out of there. You can tell some over until it's over. What's that from? In the 80s? That's probably in the 70s. <laughs> Yo, ain't you a little scared? I don't get scared. I don't get scared, okay. You know, I think you try a little harder when you're scared. You're nice. Oh yeah, you ain't scared of me. Oh. Hey, don't hit me, I'm brittle. <laughs> don't be saying you're brittle before. Oh my goodness. Did you want to come in? No, 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 it's okay. I just wanted to come by and wish you good luck. I brought you something. Adrian, it's always brought me luck. I'm so protective here. Like, I know I should just like open my mind and just accept. You're gonna prove that the last thing to age on somebody is their heart. Hmm. That was a gorgeous line. Okay, I have a little ick, but that's fine. Just a little one. Just a little ick. It was an unreciprocated kiss. It was an I love you kiss, but not in a romantic way. Rapper name, Lil Ick. And Will of Steel. All of which you carry I love this highlight. We're at the Mandalay Bay Event Center in Las Vegas, Nevada. For the much anticipated showdown. Yeah, I mean, I love how this feels real when they filmed it. Yeah, like a TV broadcast. Zachariah 46 says, Good luck, mm -hmm. Rocky. Thanks, buddy. I was hoping that he'd run by that priest's size. <laughs> but I guess oh, we're in Carmine? Vegas. We're gonna, we're, yeah, we're in Vegas, though, now. Nobody's expecting much, I think, from Rocky Balboa. What's gonna happen? I have no idea. Get rid of the damn beast. Let it be done once and for all. Please, I love you. Aww. All of the sponsorships on. <laughs> The crowd still wants him to win. Who doesn't like a underdog story? Exactly. And he's just like, you know, the people's champ. I wonder if there's gonna be any celebrities in attendance. And here comes Rocky Balboa. <sighs> it's nice to see his son in his corner. It is really nice. I'm not actually nervous because I You're feel not? like I feel like he wins either way for just doing this. He wasn't done fighting. That doesn't mean he wasn't done winning. Just get that beast out of you, I guess, like Paulie said. Boy. There's so much suspense in this. It really is. Oh, oh yeah, my Tyson. There we go. Let's get ready to rumble. I'm so glad he played, paid for pay per view. I didn't pay for it, so it's streaming. Like pirating it? Yeah. Yeah. Ahoy. The Italian he looks good for his age. Yeah, he's. Yeah. Hope he gets his head buzzed. All right. Shut up. There you go. Oh, she's still rooting for him. Across the ring. I guess Rocky needs an Adrian still. Yeah, some kind of female presence, I guess. Give me good sportsman like conduct. Remember, gentlemen, oh. I'm fair, but I'm firm. Touch him up. The broadcast vibe of this. I know, like, I'm really, like, on the edge of my seat. This is an exhibition, all right? All right, all right. Rocky doesn't just do exhibitions. I mean, he's still gonna fight. Round one begins. Oh, all boy. Right, let's see it. One punch knockout. Rocky's just on the ground. Looks like it hurts. It's been a while. He's probably less used to taking them. And the speed. To get in the shot, this is wild. I won't get frustrated. Oh, there's a meat-seeking missile. Okay, well, oh, he's getting mad. Oh. There we go. There we go. All right. Oh, forget to breathe, right? <sighs> yeah, really. We need the brakes just as much as they do. What happened to the angry stuff in the face? They're still there. Give the man a little respect. What about my respect? What about my respect? Mm. Dixon landed 59. Out of 69. Jeez. Yeah, well, all of them are jabs. In his face. You can still take it. The body. You blocked better in Rocky Five. Come on, you can do it. To rock. Oh, I love this. Rocky, and that could conceivably be the end of the fight. That's not the end of the fight. Nah. Get up, cause Mickey loves you. <laughs> now Boa up. Asks if he wants to continue. Rocky says yes. Of course he says yes. Brutal shot. Cover up. Cover up. Open shot. 
shots at him. Uh, yeah, yeah, it's just yeah, not yeah, pretty yeah. to see an older guy get no. beat up. Get up, hands and down goes Balboa. Get up, Rock. Get up. Get up. You okay? Let it go. Let it go. There we go. Those big hitters. It's the heart. And back comes Dixon with brutal left hand oh. shot. Oh. Dixon hurt his hand there. Oh. He just turned his hand and rocks him. Oh. Here we go. <laughs> Knocked him down. That's a win right there. You heard him, Rocky. I love that that kid didn't like him oh. to start with. He wants it now. I made a giant wow. This is going well because it's like, yeah, he's not as good. He's not as quick. There's but it's the heart things. and the power. Like the other guys got speed. Rocky's got power. But Rocky also has heart. And that's what's going to put him above. I love that. And now this guy is scared. Oh, the black and white. With, oh, yeah. With the that's red cool. blood. Sick. Wow, this is a cool sequence. This is great. Oh boy. He's got it. He just has to stay focused. Oh, I like that cut to the, the meat. I mean, all at this point, even if he lost, he would have won. No one expected him to go this long. The fact that it's a good fight is a victory. And a loss for the other guy, for sure. No one could even say that the other guy is more to fight for. Yeah, Rocky already has the glory. It's good to see Mickey for a frame. That's kind of gross. I love it. I don't like it on the mouth. Otherwise, it doesn't gross me out. Go to him! Run over him! Run over him. This is so good. It really is. Unload on him! Oh, that reminds me of the, the the last movie. During the last fight in front of the bus, the kid was watching calling the show. That's shots. right. Don't take any more chances out there than you have to. There's nothing more to prove, Pop. One more round, we go home. Okay, then do it. Then do it. If you're gonna do it, do it. If you Leave told that me before that he was gonna fight again, I would have been like, ugh. But actually, I really, really enjoyed this. This is awesome. You're my crazy old man. You'll get there. <laughs> You'll get there. <laughs> and cover up! They're both in a <laughs> Every punch is like one like, punch come on. away from knockout. <laughs> Target practice! Rocky's like, come on, hit me again. Knock this bum out, Mace! That's not pretty. It ain't about how hard you hit, it's about how hard you can get hit. And keep moving forward. How much you can take, keep moving forward. It's a very good movie. It is. Ah! Now he's locked in. Ah! He's just trading like crazy. <laughs> <laughs> Just, I mean, this a is lot, Rocky huge won. loss for the other guy. Definite win for Rock. You're a great champion. You got heart. If Rock says you've got heart. That's saying something. You did it, baby. That was a fight he needed. Rock's opponent. <laughs> that piece is gone now. Incredible. Let's go. It's again. Who cares? Doesn't matter. We did it. It's really like they took it back to Rocky one. This is the last Rocky movie. Mm-hmm. A split decision. Split decision. He mad. 95, 94, Dixon. They were on their way out. That makes me happy. Should have had a Drago in the stands. <laughs> Split decision and still. Who cares? Congratulations. Oh. He just gets to appreciate it all like one last time, you know? In a way where he'll actually soak it in. It's beautiful. Uh, the fact that his son brings it back out. It's like, no, no, no. Enjoy this. Oh. Wow. I'm not gonna leave it there. She wouldn't be happy with you. No. Yo, Adrian, we did it. Wow. That was, yeah, that that was, was an incredible movie. That was really great. I mean, from the start, that was... I mean, every scene. There was so much heart in that one. This movie was such a beautiful ode to everything else, and it, like, was so faithful to character. Mm -hmm. And that's why it felt like Rocky won the most, because mm -hmm. it, it kept the character top of mind, like, the whole time. His son, Milo, he was really great and very convincing. If you look at the younger child actor, yeah. even the way that their voices sound are yeah. very similar, and he did such a great 
great job. I love how they respected how good that speech was that Rocky gave his son. By his son immediately was like, oh, you're right. I'm living my whole life wrong and I'm blaming you for it. I really love that. I'm over here like inspired. Are you? You know what I mean? Like what a legacy for Sylvester Stallone to have created this whole thing. And it's not just, you know, oh, it's a good box. Like, there's so much heart and, and it's not just a boxing movie. He put his heart and soul into every single one of these movies. Yeah. And that's why, that's why they're so good. One of the things I love the most about these movies is how you can tell he just had a thought that he wanted to put in the movie. He makes these movies to make you think about life and he finds places to put those things mm -hmm. in there. I don't feel like Sylvester Stallone when writing these movies ever went, oh well, what if someone thinks that I'm being cringy or this yeah, or that? No. He's just like, no, here's this thought about life that everyone must have and let's talk about it. He's so purely himself and doesn't care what anyone thinks. It's just yeah. he pours his heart onto the page and it's so, it's so obvious. I and mean, what is it that Rocky said to his son? If you're not doing what you want to do, you're not living or mm -hmm. something like that. I think that that's something that Sylvester Stallone lives by. There's so much but wisdom and each really one of these it movies the things he rocky says it's very profound oh i thought you were gonna say it was like age catches up with you and rocky was like yeah standing if you're standing still. still just a little quick little line and it was one that he, he even let fall underneath a little he mumbled it to himself if you're standing still he lets you find the line and the meaning for yourself whereas so many films i feel like will just push it they'll be like well that's the that's a good line right so let's give it its moment you don't have to and it's better sometimes if you don't I want to read these scripts. Definitely. Probably would be a master class. Obviously, I had seen the Rocky movies. I had seen Rambo. Even the first Expendables movie. I watched a lot, a lot of Love. Sylvester Stallone's movies. I guess now it's I'm getting older and stuff. I really realize how, how intelligent he is. How vulnerable he is. And just open and honest. And yeah. I have a lot of respect for him after these movies. And especially, too, that he makes Rocky Balboa in 1970-something. Almost 30 years later, he still has that heart. He still has that wisdom he didn't lose it in the money and the fame and through all this has almost in the same way that rocky has has held on to himself it feels like it very much was a reflection of how he was feeling i like that because it just was so faithful the character i mean rocky was never An unbelievable gonna, amount he was never gonna stay away from he didn't listen to adrian about fighting That's i mean true. he tried to because he wanted her to be happy but if she's gone he's gonna be like well i know adrian wouldn't want me to do this but he needs to do it you know and that's kind of what why i was so happy with it i liked the mike tyson thing with him trash talking the champ i love that i called it i was like all right who's the celebrity that we're gonna right, yeah. <laughs> i know the the adrian actor is not dead how do you feel about the choice i think he was like well what if adrian died then what would rocky do then otherwise if adrian's there yeah he's gonna settle down they're gonna be in a rocking chair on the front porch Mm -hmm. He probably asked himself, what would make Rocky fight again? And, and, it, and the answer is just simply Adrian passing. And it's funny, like, he's in a very similar situation. Like, it, and it's, the thing is, it's so realistic and so, like, wise that at this age where he's at, he's at the same stage as he was in the first Rocky movie. Mm hmm you know what I mean? He's right back. So it makes sense that he would then go and fight. Incredible. It was really good. I'm sad that this is over. Is Sylvester Stallone in the Creed movies? He has like cameos, I think. Or is he training him? I'm really happy to have seen all of the Rocky movies and like no one's going to be like, you haven't seen Rocky anymore? How have you not seen Rocky? You can go, well, I've seen Rocky. Oh, you want, you want seen... to see me see Rocky? I have proof. Do you want me to <laughs> quote every movie? Yeah. You want me to start crying right here? <laughs> <laughs> I cried a lot more in that movie than I thought I was going it to. Got me, I cried. It's just so funny, the perspective that age can give you. I never cried at these movies when I was younger. I feel like I cried in every movie. Rocky I think you movie. have, except maybe not the fifth one. I maybe cried after it was over, like, what? <laughs> but <laughs> we said in the beginning that there was a comment saying that this Rocky gave Rocky Five a little bit more context and meaning. Do you agree with I, that? I think what they meant by that was that this one had such a good conclusion oh. that the last one, you understand more of what it's coming from and you just learn to appreciate it more, I think. Because this one is the real ending, right? So if you're looking at the other one and you're like, well, this is the end, really? Like from the beginning of the fifth movie, it feels like it was set up to be the last one. Yeah, it should have been, honestly, and so it should the whole been, time, if the fifth one was the last one, it should have been just over in the fourth one. They could have really gone from the fourth, like, you know, the Drago, Rocky, to this one. I actually disagree with you because somehow four doesn't feel like as much of a journey. That other one, because it was left on such a strange note, it made him seem more tired and way more mm. of an underdog than before. He kind of played into that to make the movie more interesting. I think that's why this one felt like the first one so much is because he 
seemed so like a bum like a bum <laughs> yeah Gross. i'm i'm really really happy about this one so after the last one we had you I want to hear your new order. I actually refuse to. You refuse to. I stand by my order previous, but this one doesn't belong in any order. This one is just, it's a closer, honestly, and it does seem standalone in so many ways. It does. I mean, I, just because it's been so long, it's not Rocky's run as a fighter anymore. That time is done. This one didn't have a huge villain, but... And I really appreciate that too, that, by the way. Though. I really appreciate that they didn't try to put too, too much drama between the two fighters. It's not what it was about. It would have been played out tired. Like, been, and it's not about ego. No, it this wasn't. This was just about would, a personal journey. What would have been the difference between Tommy Gunn and this guy then at that point? It would exactly. have been the same movie, just done a little bit differently. That was Rocky Balboa. Those of you who have watched our whole series, yes, thank, thank you, you for joining so us. So much. This. I hope um, you enjoyed it as much as we enjoyed it. Where do we go from here? How do we? Question. How do we? How do we? How do you continue after watching uh, Rocky? I want to start doing more modern movies. Okay, so you do, don't you just, don't want to go to Rambo, let's say, or I keep, mean, keep with the Sylvester Stallone. <laughs> I think I need a little break from Sylvester Stallone. I love him and I love these movies. Yeah. But I want something different. We'll go back and forth between modern and classic. Modern classic. Yeah. I like that. But definitely let us know in the comments what you think we should watch next. Or if there's any upcoming movies that we should put on our calendar that you yeah. really, really want us to see. Definitely let us know in the comments below. We also have a Patreon, which you can find in our description. Really appreciate you all who have joined it. Anything else? Anything else? I would just like to know if there's any like behind the scenes or like bloopers or or, oh, any, yeah. or you know things like that that we we need to any stories or, that you know stories I, just tell us in the comments because yeah. we're a bunch of nerds for the behind the scenes so anything else um just the if you guys have any stories you know about like the behind the scenes for any of the rocky movies mm -hmm. we'd love to read those yeah i've really enjoyed getting to learn from you guys in the comments it's been really a really fun kind of conversation this is such a cool community that we have here so we yeah. really appreciate all of you for watching hit the subscribe button hit the like button and we'll see you for another one another day. All right. Thank you so much for watching.